Hello, I hope all is well. So this is my 10 HP Iron Man. 10 HP, 60 attack, 72 strength, 1 defense with 82 magic at only level 50 combat. Because I'm an Iron Man, I do not gain combat experience in PvP, which allows me to stay 10 HP in a very low combat bracket. I'm able to spec up to a 23-23 with the Dragon Dagger, or hit a 30 with Fire Wave and the Tome of Fire, or a 26 with Ice Blitz. This allows me to potentially do more damage in one tick than any of my targets would have HP. On the flip side, my 10 HP means that anyone can kill me in one hit. Though I'm really not in it for the loot, there is a Dark Bow by the way. As an Iron Man, I was completely unable to loot, though I would keep my main nearby to try to grab the loots if they were worthwhile, like the uh, numerous Dark Bows and Tomes of Fire I would PK in this process. As you can see, this was before the introduction of loot keys. A lot of these uh, clips are a couple years old. I had to dig through piles and piles and just years worth of old clips and I was terribly organized so it's it's not like I had a PKing folder it was just like all the RuneScape videos on my computer I had to dig through and uh, kind of grab these clips out of it so this definitely took uh, more time to put this video together than I've probably ever spent on a YouTube video so I really do hope you enjoy it if you're interested in how I got to this point and built this account a couple weeks back I did a video I'll leave a, a link to that or a card uh, to that as well. and But that actually came from a series that I made a couple years back building my 10 HP Iron Man. So I'll include that playlist as well uh, if you're interested. Oh, this right here. This is my absolute favorite person to run into. These guys about my level in the, uh, like with defense, Mystic or Rune. Uh, those are definitely kills I would try to loot, but uh, always some pretty good stuff from them and some super easy kills. So this account was so much fun for me to build and I've really enjoyed playing it over the years but one of the things i feel like that's easy to overlook in pking videos is that though it looks like i've got a lot of clips and each clip is maybe just a couple of seconds i'm just kind of jumping from one kill to the next because with this account that's all it is is rushing it there's a double kill there it can't stay in a sustained fight even with a guthix rest i have a maximum of 15 hp easily one shottable but so i might spend a couple hours pking to get eight seconds, 10 seconds, maybe 30 seconds worth of clips. Um, and then un very unusual kills like this, like a, a cannon, the guy had a, a ballista, it's over a two mil kill, I was able to loot with the main. So a really awesome kill there. But kind of what happened just in real life for me, so a couple years ago, I had my first kid and then a uh, year and a half later, uh, my second one. And so I no longer was in a position where I could come home from work and sit on RuneScape for three hours and try to do some PK and get it in maybe get a couple clips a couple kills so I just had to get a little more creative with my time and I became mainly a mobile player and it was just I, I couldn't really do this PKing or record on mobile so I kind of ended up falling into the uh, glut of being a, a slayer slash farmer on the main but I do intend to kind of return to PKing at some point I just don't know when that's going to be I already find myself being slightly less busy than I was with uh, two little babies now that it, they're at least toddlers but it's I, it's still I just don't have the time or the really ability to kind of sit down for a couple hours and, and grind out those clips as, as much as I really want to but I do think I will get there at some point so just kind of one of the natures of being in this combat bracket the level 35 to 65 in the pvp worlds is that and it's probably changed somewhat now with the introduction of loot keys but a majority of people that I could attack were looters that had nothing on and sometimes I get really bored because there's no one to kill and I would kill them but that's not exactly good video material so I didn't want to include that in here so I may spend an hour and only get two or three decent kills uh, what I didn't show is all the many deaths so for every hour I spent PKing I probably have to spend maybe half an hour accumulating supplies that's buying blood and death runes that's making teleport tabs farming to get the herbs for the prayer potion super strength super attack so there's kind of a lot of back-end work that goes into it as well now my personal favorite were the uh, low level g maulers or the dark bowers now really stopped seeing a lot less of the dark bowers once they changed the uh, ability to teleport tab immediately after specking because those guys had lived on uh, spec tab so once they got rid of that they became too vulnerable and uh, people weren't wanting to risk those but I think in this video I PK'd four or five, at least four or five dark bows, and uh, maybe maybe more, but I think I was able to successfully loot maybe three of them. 
So the most money I made from PKing on this account was not actually from the dark bows, but rather these low level, super tanky black chin hunters. I probably killed hundreds of these for tens of mil worth of chins, sometimes as many as two or 300 at a time. And you get these low level 20s with uh, rune or adamant armor. Some of them had prayer as well. They were just super tanky and designed not to die. But ultimately, if I could get a DDS spec off prayer, I had a good chance of KOing them. And I did, and I would loot on my main and genuinely probably looted over 10 mil worth of black chins, but I didn't want to show just uh, clips of killing like, you know, a bunch of chin hunters. Just keep keep jumping around, keeping it interesting, uh, back and forth between uh, the chins and then here in the PvP worlds. Wow, I just realized we are six minutes into the video and I have not said a proper thank you yet. Now I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. Don't skip ahead. These awesome PK clips are going to keep playing. So just just hang tight. So I but I first I, I just need to thank established raid fresh scaped VPN fitness drink other mobile game. Is that I think that covers all of them. Oh, so all kidding aside, I got the idea for this account uh, watching Kemp Q's Solace Adamus account back in 2016 or 17. Looked like a super awesome build, really fun to play. Mine is a bit lower than lower level than his, and I don't have things like the Dragon Warhammer. Mad respect for going through that grind on a 10 HP Iron Man, but kind of the rushing concept is pretty similar. I went about building this gradually over time, kind of on the side while I played my main as well. Training strength, as you can imagine, is quite slow when you're not able to level HP at all. There is another dark bow kill coming in. Very nice. So for the past couple years, I've been primarily focused on my main account and then my combat alt that I had kind of dual purposes with. But when I first switched back to old school, I my main account was a one defense peer, and that was my primary reason. I really missed the pure PKing that reminded me of 2006, 2007 RuneScape. That's kind of what I came back for originally. And I was playing my one defense main as i called it, it as uh, 60 attack 90 plus strength and then 99 magic and range and it was a lot of fun but i hate to admit this but i i will i was not that good at pking in fact i definitely had more deaths than kills when facing actual pkers that knew what they were doing i was i was very good at the uh, pursuit style of pking and i made over 100 mil in the early days of old school runescape just kind of especially before the a protect item value was changed. I PK'd numerous, many, many Robin Hood hats and other things that would get dropped over like Dehyde. Uh, but then I kind of graduated or moved away from that a little bit and I moved into the 10 HP Iron Man PK. And this was just so much fun to rush at this level. And I think we're coming up here to the end of the video. This is the part where I could talk for another two minutes and drag it out for the uh i guess mid roll or whatever but i'm not gonna do that it's we're we're at the point where uh, this is my last pk clip for the video so i'm just gonna wrap it up here i do appreciate you watching i hope you did find this interesting and i will include a link to the playlist of building this account the pking on this account and then my previous video which was the journey to build this account so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time